Hey folks, do you want to take your gardening to the next level? Then consider using a mini walk-in greenhouse to get a head start on your summer garden and also extend your fall garden into the winter months. I created this mini greenhouse series to give you an in-depth look at what's involved with operating a mini greenhouse. Episode one, we're gonna unbox and put the greenhouse together and take a look around inside and out. Episode two, we'll pick a spot for the greenhouse and talk about thermal mass to help the greenhouse regulate its temperature. Episode three, we'll talk about automating the heating and cooling of the greenhouse. So grab some coffee and let's get started. Hey folks, welcome to episode three. We're gonna talk about automating the greenhouse. Heating, cooling, um, as you can hear the fan is running right now. That's all because of this unit, which is the Inkbird thermometer with auto cooling and heat. There's a uh, temperature sensor here. You have your main plug. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna open the, the uh, main greenhouse door here. Um, I have this fan to kick on at 90. So we'll see if we can drop the uh, temperature a few degrees and see if we can't uh, shut that fan off, get a little quieter so we can have a chat. Stay tuned. And there it is automation a beautiful thing so thanks for checking out the greenhouse series today we're going to look at automation and how we do that in the greenhouse um, so you want to um, take care of two things once you have your plants in your greenhouse um, you're going to want to take a uh, keep an eye on cooling you want to make sure your greenhouse doesn't get uh, too hot and you want to um, look at heating so if the temperatures are getting there freezing at night uh, you can either do one of two things you can take your um, you can take your ceiling trays into the house or you can supply uh, additional heat here in zone 9a um, we have very few nights that are around freezing um, so what I choose to do is just take the ceiling trays into the house uh, and put them on a windowsill for a day or I'll, I'll put up some of the um, some of the, the lights like these with the the daylight bulbs in them um, the next day temperature is going to rise uh, it may be in the in the 50s so in the greenhouse um, as long as it's partly cloudy uh, the, this greenhouse has been running 30 degrees um, above the outside temperature during the daytime. So that, that's a, as long as it is at least partly sunny. If it's full sun, it's 30, 35 degrees. If it's uh, mostly cloudy, it's, it's around 20 degrees. So um, when it's hitting 70 degrees here, it is over 100. So what I've done is this greenhouse, and the reason I chose this greenhouse, it has um, these windows that are on each side. There's one on this side and there's one also on the other side that allows cross ventilation. Um, maintaining a greenhouse, you're going to have to keep up with your, your temperatures, um, which is easy to do nowadays. Everyone has a smartphone. You can see your extended forecast, your forecast for the next couple days. What I generally do, uh, generally do the night before, I will look at my um, mobile phone and if the temperatures are gonna be uh, partly sunny in the 60s or 70s, I will generally um, not really have to do anything. The, this uh, Inkbird unit that I have back here on the wall um, is programmed for the temperature to be 75 degrees in here. That's the, uh, the temperature we're trying to hit. And I have a second unit here. Um, so the way these units are set up, there is a plug. There's actually two plugs. This side is to plug your cooling 
whatever you're going to use for cooling. I have a fan, so my fan plugs in here. This side is for heating, which I have a heat lamp with a 250 watt bulb in it. So this temperature is run to this shelf here and just tied on with a, a bread, bread tie. Um, and that gives me um, about the middle of the greenhouse, about midways up. That gives me the temperature in here. So my unit is set for 75 degrees and there are two things it monitors. There's a, a heating differential and there is a cooling differential. So the, plant, the fan is plugged in uh, and we'll go inside here and we'll do some tests and we'll show you that. The fan is plugged into the cooling side. I have my cooling differential set to kick on at 90 degrees. So at 90 degrees, this fan that we just saw is gonna kick on. Or when it drops below 90, it's gonna kick off like it just did because we opened all the windows and opened the door. Same side for the heating differential. The heating differential I have set for this unit is 45 degrees. So if I've misjudged something or, uh, you know, if temperatures are getting down really low, I don't want to wait until 32 degrees. I have this set for 45. It'll kick this lamp on and this lamp will keep it about 10 degrees warmer than the outside ambient temperature. That's just a safety factor. Uh, we had two cooling nights here um, a week or two back. I took the plants in, I turned the light off. Yes, it would have kicked on. I'm just saving myself a little bit of energy. But that's the type of freedom this thing gives you. This model is actually Wi-Fi enabled. So I can monitor this while I'm at work, while I'm on the road, while I'm on vacation, cross country. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you screenshots of that also when we go inside. But it gives, you, uh, it gives you a graph. You can see the temperatures as they rise and fall throughout the day. Um, it tells you what the uh, current temperature is and it tells you whether your heating or your cooling is currently running. So automating the greenhouse, this is invaluable. The non-Wi-Fi model of this runs about, I think, 25 on Amazon. And hey, folks, don't worry, I'm going to have links to all this in the description below. $25 without Wi-Fi. I believe the model with Wi-Fi, which is this one, uh, was right about $45. Um, 40 45 dollars so for me uh being the first year uh trying to run this with the plants in it it was a no-brainer for me I, I popped on the 45 bucks uh came in a day or two and i have absolutely loved this there are uh there is one quirky thing uh I reached out to the company and that's how they actually sent me this unit uh as a spare just to do some testing with um it turned turns out you set your high differential and your low differential temperature um, the unit has to actually run through those one cycle before it kicks on and kicks off of those temperatures otherwise it will um, as soon as it gets like for this unit is set at 75 as soon as it gets to 76 it'll kick the fan on um, and same thing for the heating one when, when it gets one degree below um, 75 uh, so when it hits 74, it'll kick that lamp on. So best thing to do is just unplug everything, let it run for a day through the cycles, uh, heating and cooling, and then you're good to go. So um, this might end up as a giveaway. So if you're interested, leave comments uh, below. And hey, if you're enjoying this series, leave comments, click like, click subscribe, hit the bell notification so you get future notifications. Uh, believe it or not, it helps the channel, helps us bring us more content to you. So let's uh let's take a look at some of the plants in here uh we'll take some close up of this and then we'll go inside and uh we'll actually run it through the paces thanks
All right, folks, we're back inside. We have the Inkberg 308 Wi-Fi model. Uh, we have a test fan to act as our cooling unit, and we also have a light source to act as our heating unit. So we're gonna pull you in for a close shot and take a quick look at that. Okay, folks, we're gonna run through the cycle here. We have the Inkberg 308 Wi-Fi model. Um, when you get into the app, you have your uh, different models available for you to choose. So we have the greenhouse here set up. Currently in the greenhouse, it is 54.9 uh, degrees. Outside currently, I believe it is about uh, 45 or so, 41, 45. So we're about 10 degrees above the outside temperatures and that's about as cool as it's gonna get for tonight. So here we have our test unit which will correspond to what we're looking at here. Um, so the unit has all the buttons you can set manually if you choose not to get the Wi-Fi model. If you do get the Wi-Fi model, um, there is a Wi-Fi light indicator and you can set all of your options through the uh, mobile app. Um, so there's also a set button here, uh, up and down, which will let you set your temperature you wanna monitor for. Currently we're matching the greenhouse setting, so this is set to 75. Um, the current temperature reading on the probe, which is here, is 71 degrees, which is what we're seeing here. It's currently in a heating mode. Uh, as I mentioned outside, this unit hasn't run through a complete cycle where it's hit all the upper temperatures and the, uh, and the lower temperatures. So it's going to activate as soon as it's one degree off uh, on the heating and the cooling cycle. So. For testing purposes, that that's, uh, works out uh, even better. That's why I have it like that. So basically, this unit will monitor your set values um, for your heating differential. And you can set that from one to 30 degrees. Right now, we'll set it to one degrees for testing to see how this sets the heating on and then shuts off heating and does the cooling. So right now you can see we are in a heating mode because we are lower than our set temperature that we want to monitor for. So you can easily change that by going to your set point. So we'll drop this temperature down to 70. We'll select OK. You'll see this flash app saying that it did just got an update from the app module. This will switch to a blue screen and this will indicate cooling. And you'll see this light turn off and this light turn on, which is labeled cooling. There we go. So our plugs that are labeled here The uh, heating plug, of course, the lamp is going into that. The cooling plug, the fan is currently going into that. And that's how the unit knows which to activate and which to deactivate. So we'll adjust that set point value again above 70 or actually above 71. We'll put it back to 75, which matches our greenhouse settings. As soon as we activate that, uh, you'll see this flash to app. The cooling indication light will switch back to heating. This screen will turn an orange and it will go from cooling to heating. So let's do that now. Isn't that a beautiful thing? <laughs> So on top of that, as I mentioned with the Wi-Fi model, you also get um, graphing. So this model has only been plugged in for a few minutes, but you can see we are graphing our temperatures every 15 minutes. So it will give you a chart there. Let me go back a couple days. You can see this was inside. Uh, it's hanging right around 70 degrees. Let's go and take a look at our. Let 
greenhouse. So we have 7 a.m. You can see the sun came out. We wore, uh, let's see, this was 56 degrees at 7.30 this morning. At 8.45, we hit 88 degrees. So I think it's a $20 difference between these models. If you can get Wi-Fi where your pop-up greenhouse is gonna be, or if you wanna use this model for something else, it has worked extremely well thus far. I definitely recommend it. So that pretty much wraps it up. Um, you can rename these if you have multiple, just like we have here. So let me know what you think. Let me know um, what your thoughts are. If you would be interested in one of these, uh, I have toyed with the notion of doing a uh, giveaway. So put that down in the comments below. Of course, we'll have links in the uh, video description below for you to take a look at and um, give me some feedback. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've seen some other models that uh, you think may do a better job or that you have, um, you've worked with or, or uh, have seen, then hey, drop that in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. All right, folks, so that's gonna wrap it up for us today. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, the last couple episodes on the greenhouse. If you didn't check out the first two, check out the links up here. I'll, I'll drop in a, um, a link for both of them. Um, this is the third episode in the series. Um, so right now we'll shoot out to some footage of the seedlings actually in the greenhouse. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, do me a favor, click like, click subscribe, click the bell notification, and make sure you click all videos so you're notified when we release future videos. Believe it or not, it helps the channel, uh, so please click like. Um, stop by, see us again. Now out to the greenhouse.